Hello, it's me. Haven't seen this face in a while, have you? How you doing? So, uh, yeah, uh, this is a very serious video. I'm going to start off by saying this. Uh, this we're talking about very serious topics, uh, you know, talking to minors majority of the time. Uh, but in case anybody doesn't know who I am, because I've been kind of not doing anything lately within the Secret Lab community for like the past two years now. Uh, hello, I'm Tiny Tony. I used to be partnered with SCP Secret Lab back in 2019 up until the near end of 2022. Uh I left because I just wasn't happy with how the game was and the community at the point. I just didn't want to be associated with a community full of racists, homophobes, and transphobes, and apparently pedophiles. So, uh, yeah, I just didn't want to be in relation to that because at the point, every time I was streaming, I didn't mind stream snipers, I didn't mind anything like that, but people who would join through my stream say that, oh, I, f I came here because of Tiny Tony. And they would run around screaming how they hate gay people and all this shit. So and then they would try to put the blame on me. So I got tired of that. You might also have know me by the uh, Fight Me Demon video. Uh, yeah, that's me. I'm the Fight Me Demon guy. No matter how many times someone else tries to claim it's them, it's mine. Uh, so get that out of the way just to get you guys to know who I am. In case you don't know who I am. In case you're new to this video, hello. Subscribe. I don't play Secret Lab anymore. Uh, because the game's fucking not fun anymore for me. So let's get into the topic of today's a lot of you who tend to use YouTube watch content creators read patch notes now. Uh, I don't mind this content, but a certain uh, individual by the name of Baco, uh, he was one of those people, and uh, turns out he was fiddling minors. Or, well, he was trying to fiddle minors. He was talking inappropriately and sending child porn to other people. And uh, when confronted about it, he was just basically like, oh, well, it's legal in my country. Uh Let's just stop right there for a second. Uh, no, no matter where you're from, it's illegal. Uh, there's an international law where you are re literally required to be 18 or older to have these kind of conversations with someone else. You both have to be 18. I don't care where the fuck you're from. You can be 16. Your, your age of consent can be 16 in Japan or whatever the fuck country you're in. I almost said Japan again. <laughs> your age of consent could be 16. Uh, don't care. International law says you need to be 18 to talk to this way to someone else if you're above the age of 18. I don't care if Baco was 17. He was talking to an 11-year-old. But honestly, I, I'm not here to talk about the Baco thing. Everyone kind of knows about it at this point. If you don't, well, there you go. There's your quick rundown. He was talking to minors. He was a fucking freak. Uh, so, yeah, and uh, I don't really think anyone really cares. No one seemed to really like him. So he's gone. Don't care about him. Moving on to the next subject. In case you guys are f completely underaware of what's going on because uh, things like things like this like to get brushed under the rug. Uh, Leo had Leo. He was a former Northwood marketing specialist. I think he was the manager. I'm not too sure. I, I, I don't remember. I'm not going to bother looking it up. But if he is, he was either a specialist or the manager. Uh, he had recently come out with a bunch of documents, which I'm going to leave in the description below for everybody. Uh, exposing a lot of people. Uh, especially people who were working for, who are working for Northwood. And to my, to my knowledge, as of yesterday, when I was asking someone else about it, uh, I'm not going to give their name. Uh, these people still work here or there. So, uh, a bunch of Northwood employees just got exposed for being racist, homophobes. Hey guys, editing Tony here. Uh, I just skimmed through the document because I had it open and I was reading it as we went. Uh, I said that they weren't being homophobes. Oh my God. Oh my god, the things they said in private DMs. Jesus Christ. So yeah, ignore the part where they weren't homophobes. They are, I'm convinced at this point that they are. Uh, their favorite word is the F word, and it's used a lot. So uh, yeah, all right, back back to the video. Uh, not homophobes, sorry, and pedophiles. Uh, so yeah, I don't, f I don't understand why this isn't a big deal to everybody right now, and I don't understand why this is trying to get swept under the rug. There are literal people inside a dev studio who have power by the way, let's just leave it at one. They have power in this side, this dev studio and whatever, whatever branch they are in that are talking to children inappropriately, sending porn to children. How hard is it to not talk to kids? Like, I do it all the time. I don't fucking talk to kids. As soon as someone tells me they're under the age of 21, I don't, I don't fucking talk to them. Like, how hard is it to not talk to kids? It blows my mind. Like, how do you, how do you, how do you grow a mentality when you hit eighteen? Like, oh, I need to go fiddle a minor. Like, why? Can you not get any bitches? So you have to prey on fucking kids? Are you, are you fucking dumb? 
it's it blows my mind that this company is filled with freaks and creeps and they just get uh, just whatever it's northwood i don't care they make scp serial lab it's my favorite game ever so i'm kind of a little pissed off because back in, even back in like early 2020s i was always hearing rumors about uh northwood and some of their employees having relations to talking to children and uh, they always try to just say, like, uh, they're not around anymore, or uh, they got rid of them, which they probably did. I don't fucking know. I'm not an employee. I couldn't tell you. But from the people I've talked to, um, everything seems to just go through one source, and if they deem it not worth enough to talk about, they just try to bury it. And that's exactly what they're trying to do right now. Uh, Northwood is riddled with pedophiles. Okay? let's just Let's just get that out of the way. I am convinced at this point because it's just over the last four or five years now, there's always someone coming forward about someone talking to kids within that game studio that I don't understand why it's always being swept under the rug and everyone just ignores it and forgets about it. Yeah, I get it. SCP Secret Lab was my favorite game at one point, but you need to understand that this is not a safe game for kids. There are adults preying on children because these children are impressionable and they will do whatever it takes to get somewhere up in a certain community, up in the secret lab discord. It doesn't matter, okay? These adults are taking advantage of children and it's going unnoticed and I, I don't know why. Like, and as far as I'm aware, uh, as the time of this recording, which is uh, the 17th of March, uh, they still haven't addressed these uh, rumors and they're just kind of trying to like just forget it and move on sort of deal. Uh, I'm going to be that guy and be like, no, we shouldn't forget this. Uh, we need to hold these people accountable and we need to see some effort from the game studio to do something about these people. Uh, I can't speak for sub communities, but I have been in a couple communities, about three or four now, where the owner <laughs> just so happens to be talking to kids. And I just, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Why? What is wrong with you people? Don't talk to kids. Like, what the fuck? Like, I, don't, I don't get it, man. You, they have this simple thing on Discord. Are you ready? It's a right-click block. There you go. Don't fucking talk to them. Right-click mute. Don't fucking talk to them. Right-click ignore. Don't fucking... Just don't fucking talk to kids, man. How hard is it? You're an adult. You can't be like, well, I have a personality. I have a disorder. I'm mentally unwell. You are making this decision... And you can't convince me any other way that you, as an adult, are not making this decision on your own. I don't want to go full into it, because I feel like everyone else has at this point. But I feel like I really need to start spreading awareness, because a lot of my audience, who happen to be kids uh, under the age of 18, 16 years old, all the way down to 13, maybe 11, 12, I don't fucking know. Uh, they still play Secret Lab, and I need to, you know, I feel like it's, as a person with a platform... I feel like it's very important that we spread these sorts of things because this is just unreal. Like, I can't believe that these people are working within a company and no one is doing anything about it. If they are, hell, at the time of this recording, they haven't done anything about it. And if they have at this point, good fucking job. I'm happy for you. Thank fucking God you got rid of those fucking creeps. But of course, because these creeps are in such high positions, I wouldn't blame them. Or, well, I wouldn't blame them. Wow, that's really bad. Uh, it doesn't seem like they want to get rid of them and, uh, you know, train more people. You literally have positions. If someone's a higher up, get their fucking ass out of there if they're talking to kids and train the guy below him. I promise you there is someone that wants the job that isn't a fucking creep. It's not that. I take this personal because this is a game, this is a dev studio and a game that I really was like, yeah, you guys should really check this out. You should really do this, 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 you know, praise Northwood for giving all the effort they can. And I'm, I'm at this point now, I'm at an impasse with myself. Like, why the fuck did I ever do those sorts of things? Because of all the, because of what it's turning out to be. It is riddled with pedophiles. Our children are not safe. Do not play this game without friends do not engage in conversations of anyone in northwood unless you know you've done something wrong because honestly dude what the fuck what the fuck is going on and i have a personal message for the people at northwood because you guys probably might actually end up watching this video 
Um, I'm surprised you got away with it this long. Honestly. I can't believe everyone's so blind to all the bullshit you guys spew. Uh, I started seeing right through you back in the, the start of 2022. You play favorites with content creators. Uh, dude, it's just... You guys are fucking weird. I've, I have filed complaints about content creators that were spreading rumors about me within the partner program, and lo and behold, of course the person I send the complaint to is best friends with one of them, so of course nothing's gonna happen. Do your fucking job, dude. That is why you have the position. I don't give a fuck if it is your brother, your husband, your, your girlfriend, your fucking... I don't care who the fuck they are to you. You took this position... Do your fucking job, dude. This is more or less a rant video at this point because I'm just I'm just so fucking surprised at how little to the fact that no one really seems to care about this sort of situation. But um, yeah, no, Northwood is fiddled with fiddled. Wow, Northwood is riddled with pedophiles, and uh, I, I would start opening your other eyes, guys, because uh, you never know. At this point, I've just accepted that uh, no matter what we do, what we say, or what we you know anything that comes forward no one's gonna do anything about it because the company just wants to sweep it under the rug and pretend it never happened and, and like i said march 17th 2024 as far as i'm aware these people that were being accused of talking to children haven't been fired haven't been suspended or anything like that if this, if this was my real life job and i was caught talking to kids this goes anywhere. If I was, if this was my real life job, and you were caught talking to children, and it was, and, and you know there was substantial evidence of you talking to children, no matter what, even if it's accusations, that job would get rid of you. Why aren't these people gone? I get that they're accusations, and you have to wait till the actual proof comes out. But dude, these people are going to tarnish your, your, your company's reputation, and it's already starting to destroy your game's reputation. I have nothing else to say. I, I'm just, I'm confused, I'm angry, and I, 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 and I, I can tell you right now, my kid's never playing fucking Secret Lab when he gets up older. Not until this pedophile problem's fixed. Like I said, guys, I'll leave everything down below for you guys to read on. Uh, please leave a comment giving your opinion on the situation. I... If you guys don't even know what's going on, uh, I'll leave everything in the description below for you guys to click on. Um, I'm just here to spread this because this is ridiculous. There's there is absolutely no way that this is anything, right? Like, oh, Jesus, I can't even think of words right now. And you know what? I don't give a fuck that if this if I'm wrong or if I'm tarnishing my you know reputation by doing this by calling out a dev studio and a game. Because of it's because it's riddled with fucking pedophiles and people taking advantage of children, um, I would rather take a hit to my to my every. I would rather take a hit to my sub count and my follower count and everything like that, if it means that these people that are talking to children are gone. I don't care anymore. Yeah. All right. Bye.